Amy, well, the good news is they don't have to cancel every flight today, but they are canceling a lot of flights. And the good news is that this fog looks like it's starting to get actually a little bit better. It's lifting a little bit. It was much worse when we first got out here. It was hard to see much of anything except for the slight glow of lights. Now we can see a lot more, but 62% of flights are canceled today and Painfield is saying this is out of their control and they are just as frustrated as travelers are. Flights were also canceled yesterday, as Jake mentioned, and this is all because of the recent 5G wireless rollout from AT&T and Verizon. The new service is preventing planes from landing in foggy conditions, so it's interfering with flight technology used to navigate aircrafts, especially in low visibility conditions like we're seeing right now. The FAA says most planes aren't being impacted right now, but Alaska Airlines says the change is still interfering with the specific regional planes they fly out of pain field. Alaska is allowing travelers to change or cancel their flights. They're also encouraging people to schedule flights for the end of the week. So this fog, this fog is starting to lift a little bit out here. Um, as far as updates go for the airport here, we'll let you know the very latest right here on King 5 News, but you can also find the latest updates on our website, king5.com. Live here in Everett, Kirill Fallen, King 5 News.